Today it's uh, October 16. Uh, it's exactly more or less a few days, um, two months after the beginning of that project. You must know that because uh, I already uh, record and edit and record uh, two movies or two or three movies about that triptych. Okay, uh, in the comment I received one question which is very, very, very interesting. It's uh, when do we have to stop painting? So the first answer who comes to my mind was, okay, when you are painting a flower, for example, these roses, when these roses stop to smell like a shit and smell like a roses, that is time to stop painting. Okay, <laughs> it's, uh, it's funny, but uh, you know, in one way it's, it's not so far from the real. We have to be serious few minutes okay and uh, as I promise every time I will talk a bit about techniques and uh, in this video I will talk about how I glaze how I use my glaze uh, I want to uh, change the basic color of that uh, flower and uh, I will uh, realize one uh, glassy so but I don't know yet what kind of color will be uh, nice so uh, I uh, put on my uh, that white uh, pad, uh, palette, uh, three colors. I use this one, it's uh, bright uh, red, this one permanent roses and uh, crimson. Okay, that's the color I have on, on that palette. And uh, to make my uh, glassy glaze, I will use Neo Mel Gip. What I used to do, because why I use white uh, pad palette? Because if I use that in my uh, wood palette, I won't be sure, 100% sure about uh, uh, my glaze, the color of my glaze. So one uh, glaze is, is something very, very, very light. Like this one, you can see that on my palette. So I use a lot of that. Okay, this one is, uh, it looks like purple. What is interesting for me now, it's, uh, it's the transparency of the color. Okay, now we go for the permanent roses. Very purple, but you know, it looks like it's more, uh, more purple. Also this one, I, I love both crimson, crimson now. Yeah, very uh, purple also. So uh, I will probably work with uh, my uh, bright red. I know some artists, they say we cannot uh, glaze with the uh, um, opaque color, but yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay, and if you let some, mi some s minutes Okay, after that you can, you can blend them, you can blend your color, but you have to let some seconds, some minutes sometimes, between the time you put your painting and you, you ta the time you uh, blend them, okay? As I show here in my palette, I used to mix different tones and use them as glassy sometimes, but also with uh, more uh, thick brush stroke. I use both because if I need transparent, I will use transparent. I will, if I need more color, I will put more color. Hello, sorry for interrupting this program, but I have something very important to tell you. Uh, it's about help, mutual help. help. Uh, if you cannot fi help me financially, that I understand that, you know, even if you cannot pay me one coffee a day, uh, it's so it perfectly okay, you, it's life. But you can do s very simple things to help people like me, uh, YouTubers, uh, to progress in their uh, work. Uh, for example, I, I have a list here. First is to watch the movie till the end. That is important for the algorithm uh, of YouTube. Second, like, of course, and if you want to 
have more content of my work, you can subscribe and you will have the new video who comes. And finally, if you can make a comment, just just few words. Okay, hello, yes, good, I like, I dislike. Uh, your piece of uh, good guy. <laughs> Okay, that's all. I don't bother you more than that. If you can help me on that, you know, it's like a mutual aid. And uh, see you in the studio now. To those who are interested in following me, uh, in the next videos, I will probably make one video about one topic, very interesting topic, because I think in the, in the, in the uh, YouTube around many many artists they are misunderstood what is a medium okay and what is for the medium so if you want me if you want to learn from me stay tuned okay follow me and uh, i promise you in the maybe next video i will make one special uh, uh, part for uh, talking to you about what i think uh, medium is and what is for that's very important I talk about the exhibition and uh, I will be more precise on, on that. Um, during the 23 uh, November till 26 November, there is one exhibition in Cebu City. It's called Visaya Arts Fair. So I will participate and my uh, uh, triptych will be there exhibiting. I will exhibit that, that painting. So if you want to see the difference between what we can reproduce as a photo or as a video and the real uh, i invite you i i think you should go there and at least take a look at uh, at that uh, triptych uh, i hope you will love that and to those who appreciate my work and my uh, painting and how i am i what i give you as an artist uh, and you want to help me on Patreon, you can, you have the link down below. Uh, and you can also order one apron like this one, uh, you know, step by step I can save some money and uh, fix my studio and maybe organize one exhibition in uh, Shanghai because that is my big project for the next year. So thanks for following me, thanks uh, if you help me. Uh, till then, for the artist, never give up, keep painting, and see you soon.